Hi, welcome to lecture 37 of game theory. Uh, we have just begun to talk about the inf complete information game, which I explained that the players do not know each other's payoff for sure. Okay, for example, I'm like, I'm a stay home watching TV, read books kind of type. I mean, if someone asks me to read books, like one book a day and like uh, write down something uh, or like uh, solve mathematical problems, I think, you know, I'm not like crazy about it, but yeah, I can do that. Um, actually, I might enjoy a little bit. On the other hand, if someone asks me, oh, let's go out and play baseball and uh, do some jogging and things like that. Oh my God, you know, like you do better kill me. Like, you know, I'm a fat guy, hate uh, sports. Actually playing sports part, I really hate watching. I can do that, you know, something like that. I'm a couch potato. So on the other hand, I have many, many friends who cannot stay home, cannot read books. They just want to go out and do something. I mean, so many of my friends go outside to, for play golf. I have no idea why they like that. I mean, like, uh, it's a valuable time. You know, you want to read something, understand something, and like, you go out and waste so much money. And like, what you are doing, like, uh, just... Uh, you know, swing the stick and hit this itchy bitchy like a small paddy, like golf ball, you know, good luck to you. But anyway, they would, I cannot understand them. The golfers cannot understand me. So we are actually, we are human beings. We are the uh, 50s in their 50s Korean Koreans and similar background in education. But my friend, they love golf. They are golf type, outdoor type. Me, inside, 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 never go outside kind of type. So we talk about these types a lot. Okay. So, I mean, you know, it's not like, even though I never played golf, it's not like I cannot play a golf. It's just meaning that playing golf is not so much fun and the money and time I pay for that is like too much for me. Uh, on the other hand, reading books and solving some mathematical problems, not hard at all to me. Some other people, you know, playing golf is really, really fantastic. I mean, that's, that's what they hope for in their whole life. And the money paid for that is like nothing compared to the pleasure of playing golf. So the payoff are so totally different from me and like this golf loving my friends. The problem is if someone like uh, who just met me, uh, like you, uh, would never guess whether Professor Han enjoy golf or not. Okay. In other words, they do not know my type. We call that type. They do not know my payoffs. Like they would say like, oh, Professor Han is fat and he's just slow. Probably he's, he's not going to like the curve. He's like indoor type. Okay, you guessed it right. But I have some friends who is fat and slow but loves golf. Okay, something like that. Another thing maybe only common in uh, well-known in Korea and Japan is the blood type. I mean, when you go for the a blood test, usually they give you, oh, you are A, B, and O, or AB. So there are four blood types according to this kind of classification. And to tell you the truth, I'm blood type B. My wife, blood type A. And somehow Koreans and Japanese believe blood type A wants to follow the rules everything by rule and blood type B wants to break the rule and do everything in her well, his own way. Okay. Uh, is it true? You know, many people say, oh, it's a, like non-scientific 
not logical at all. But my wife is blood type A, I'm blood type B, and it is true. My wife, when she cooks, she measures everything. I, I'm kind of surprised that I'm in a laboratory or in a kitchen. She just opened the book. It said one spoon, like 10, uh, like a proper amount of salt. She just immediately threw away what is the proper amount of salt because it doesn't say correctly what it is. That usually say blood type A. Me, I mean, like 10 milligrams of salt. Who cares? I just pour the salt in and taste it and say, oh, it's very salty. Then put some water and things like that. That's blood type B. So blood type B uh, to everything on the spot and blood type A, everything planned kind of thing. Okay. Or um, in Korea, we say like, oh, is he a fox or a bear? Bear means like not very sensitive. Just, uh, you know, if someone say like a bad thing about him, like, uh, I don't know, I'm just doing it. Fox means like very clever, you know, like uh, it, the fox type knows what, what, what other people's opinions are and like they want to like uh, satisfy others, their opinion, even though it's different. Or sometimes they want to manipulate the other's opinion. Bear, don't care, don't understand just doing his or her own job. So, you know, more often than not, if you look around whichever country you are from, you do not say Thai, or sometimes even bloodlessly say Thai, and uh, like, oh, it's kind of classification of human being, okay? Classification, oh, this is a very clever guy, this is a very dumb guy, or this is very pleasant guy, this is like nice guy, like bad guy, grumpy guy, gloomy guy, and something like that. And it's like they are born with that, okay? So it's not something they can change, they are born with it. And if everybody immediately can see whether someone is a nice pleasant one or a gloomy one, that's okay. But then that is not easy. Sometimes the gloomy guy pretend to be look uh, nice and pleasant. When you go out for a day, first date, when you go for a job date, if the other person says like, are you gloomy? Are you like a bad person? You said, yes, I am. Then that's the end of the date. That's the end of your job interview. So everybody pretend to be nice and pleasant, kind and things like that. So that makes this incomplete information game difficult. People pretend to be something else. And as I said, this incomplete information game is 10, 20, 30 times more complicated than complete information game. I'm going to never even dream about uh, teach you everything. It's impossible. You have to take the one or two courses in the uh, graduate level. So I'm going to just dip into, dip the small toe into the incomplete information game. Others do not know your type for sure, but they can guess and put a probability on it. We call that belief. So here, for the first time, we I introduce you something, some new terminology that is belief. I mean, when you meet me, Professor Han, and you look at me, and you want to guess, oh, is he an indoor type or outdoor type? Even though I'm like fat and slow and talkative guy, and you think, oh, probably indoor. But can you bet your neck on that? Probably not. You would say, oh, 90% indoor. But still, 10% he's outdoor. Something like that. So even though you do not know and I'm not going to tell you whether I'm an indoor type or outdoor type. When you beat me, you have this idea, oh, he seems to be indoor type with probability 80%. That is belief. Okay, out of blue, you have this idea. We call that probability is something people agreed upon, 
but belief is kind of your personal. It can be objective, but it can be very subjective. But, you know, when you meet someone, you just have this probability. That's what the game theorists think. Okay? Incomplete information game. Okay, first example. Uh, I want to make example as interesting as possible. So I'm going to talk about marriage type and single type. There's a female and male game. Male can date a girl or no date. Stop dating. Date or no dating. The female side, when the male, of course, the male's intention is to get married. Female can say yes and can marry to male in a short time. Or female can, no, no, no. I insist to be single and doesn't get to married. The problem is from ma male side when he, so then the female has a single type and marriage type. From male side, even though she's pretty, is she, if she is single type, hopeless to get married, the male better not date. Because like being single after dating, no date gives the male zero and zero. The second line is male, no date zero, 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 zero. Of course, female also zero, 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 because nothing is happening. The marriage single matters only when male dates and kind of invest considerable time and money on her, okay? And if after considerable investment, if she says no, she remain to be single, the male, negative 10. The money, time, and probably the lowest chance. This female A say no, but then uh, I dated like two years with the female A. And then during that time, female B, female C, I was a little bit interested. They are all got married. So, oh my God, I have a wrong investment or something. Okay, maybe you said, oh, you know, like the dating and marriage, love, not, nothing like Professor Han says. Well, when you hit like 50 years old like me, think it again. Anyway, you may be right, I may be right. But anyway, this is the game that I made. So just understand and follow my instinction. instinct. Uh, the male dates, if female married to him, 10. After all those times and money, no, minus 10. Same as 10, minus 10. The problem is the female can be marriage type or a single type. If she is marriage type, she will get 10 by getting married to single, negative 5. But if she is a single type, minus 5, 10. And it is known on newspaper or like between uh, like male friends, 70% of female are marriage type. Only 30% single type. So when you meet a girl, you do not know, and you're wondering, should I date her or not? Okay, she looks good, should I date? 70% of chance, you can get married. 30%, you'll never get married, whatever you do, because she doesn't want to get married, okay? So we have a female, M-type, S-type. Marriage type, single type, M type, S type. Male, just a no, no type, just one, one type that is always to, always to get ma married. And if not married, better not, better not date kind of thing. You understand this? Okay. Same game, same female. That female might be marriage type 70%. Single type, 30%. So actually there are two, it is two player game, male and female, but female has two types, which the male does not know. Male only knows the probability for female to be M type or S type. Okay, you have your PPT, think it again, and if you don't understand, uh, listen to this lecture again. Okay. Uh, in this incomplete information game, instead of saying Nash equilibrium, we are going to say Bayesian Nash equilibrium. And in the game I have just introduced, the, the female of M-type will choose marriage, 
female with S type will choose be single, male date. That is the Bayesian Nash equilibrium. Why? Let's see. I assume that male will, it's same, even though we have two types, it's same as Nash equilibrium constant. Male says date. For female marriage type, when male dates, marriage 10, single, negative 5. So female M type marriage. When male date, female S type, single would be 10, marriage would be negative 5. So female would choose to be single. That's why it is single. So same as Nash equilibrium, the female choose the best response for the assumption that male will stick to the Nash equilibrium. Then why male choose date in this case? Male, if he choose no date, he will certainly get zero. So the expected payoff from dating should be higher than zero. If male choose date, with 70% chance, he will get 10. 30% chance he will get negative 10. What is expected value? 0 0.7, 10 plus 0 0.3, negative 10. That is 4. Hmm? Oh, no, no. Negative 5. Let me see. Uh -uh. I was wrong. Okay, this calculation here. 0 0.7, 10. 0 0.3, negative 10, not 5. Oh, I was wrong. Then, this is not 5.5, .5, this is 4. Okay, 0 0.7 multiply 10. I was confused. I have to add up the second, second line, but then I added the first. So, 0 0.7 multiply 10, 0 0.3 multiply negative 10 which is 7 minus 3 equal 4. But anyway, the answer is correct. Dating gives the expected pay of 4, but no date will give 0. So, male's date choice of date uh, justify female M-type marriage, female S-type single, but then this female M-type S-type behavior justify male's choice of date because date will give him four expected pay of four not no date zero four is bigger than zero as everybody know okay so what is the point it's simple it's Nash equilibrium yeah everything is you can say that but one thing that is different is even though this game has only two player female and male when you go to the equilibrium, you have to write down as if there are three players. Why? Male is just male, but female can be M-type, S-type. And M-type, S-type may choose different strategy, may choose the same strategy, but we want to know. So you have to write down female M-type will do something, female S-type will do something, and male will do something. So we should treat different types as a different player. So even though this game has only two players, because a female has two types, we have to write down as if this game has three players, female M, female S, and male. Then you are successfully writing down the Bayesian Nash equilibrium. Easy. Yeah, until here. Okay. So first lesson in incomplete information game, treat the different uh, type as different player. So if there are male, female, M-type, S-type, male, M-type, S-type, you have to write down as if there are four players, something like that, okay? Okay, a little bit more completed game, that is roommate game. I'm going to just uh, introduce and maybe, I don't know whether we have enough time or not, but let's see. Tim and Sam are roommates. They want to live in a clean environment.
clean room and want their room to be cleaned. Of course, the problem is they are in a dormitory <clears throat> and need, neither Tim nor Sam has mom around. Okay, so they have to clean it. The utility from the clean room for both of them is 10. Okay, if you stay in a clean room, your happiness is 10. The problem is, some, as I said, someone has to actually clean the room. And cleaning the room is a public good. What do you mean public good? If Tim cleans the room and Sam doesn't, does that mean Tim enjoy the clean room's utility 10 and Sam doesn't? No. If Tim cleans the room, Sam doesn't, Sam may not deserve it, but because public good, Sam is in the same room, he will enjoy the clean room too. If Sam does it, same thing. In addition to that, in, if Tim, Tim and Sam clean it together, still, it's not going to be like the utility 20, it's just 10. Because clean room is a clean room, whether one person clean it, two person clean it, not, not so different. Okay? Tim's cost of cleaning the room is CT and Sam's cost of cleaning the room is CS. Why may, are you, um, am I making this so complicated? Because Tim and Sam in this game has types. Okay? Because CT and CS, Tim's cost of cleaning, Sam's cost of cleaning, can have either value of 5 or 15. Okay? You do not know. Tim knows whether his cost CT is either 5 or 15, but Sam does not know what is the cost of Tim. Sam knows his cost CS is either 5 or 15, which one is it? But Tim does not know what Sam's cleaning cost is. Okay? And once again, we talk about belief. The belief or probability that the cost will be 5 is 2 over 3. So it's like twice more likely for both Tim and Sam to be the cost 5. We say low cost type, but with probability one third, both of them can be cost 15. You understand the situation? So they want to clean a room and you know we can already guess if Tim's cost is 15 and his utility of enjoying the clean room is 10, he will never gonna clean it. He ne cleans it, negative 15 plus 10 is zero. Okay, for here, staying in a not clean dirty room would be zero. So zero for the dirty room, 10 for the clean room. So you want to move from zero to 10, but that cost is 15, like high cost, you're not gonna do that. You're losing five there. But if your cost is five, you're moving zero, dirty room to 10, the clean room, and your cost is only five, you may do that. What do you mean may? He will always do that. No, if team can you know, clean the room at the cost of five, but if he actually does that, he guarantees to get five because utility increase from dirty room zero to clean room 10 by 10, but cost is five, 10 minus five is five. But what if Sam cleans it? Sam is the low cost guy, he cleans it. Tim doesn't do anything, <clears throat> even though his cost is five. His utility from dirty room zero to clean room 10, but no cost. So if Tim with the low cost of cleaning five, clean himself, he will get 10 minus five equal five net utility increase. But if Sam clean it for some reason, Tim does not, it's 10 minus zero would be 10. So it's not automatic that the low 
uh, cleaning coast guy would really, what if, for example, what if Tim and Sam are both low cost five and five? And can it be possible for to be a uh, Beijing Nashi clearing for Tim and Sam clean the room? Not really. Both Tim and Sam clean the room, both will get 10 minus 5, 10 minus 5. Then Sam would think, oh, if Tim cleans it, what am I doing? If I stop cleaning it, Tim will get 10 minus 5, but I'll get 10 minus 0, so I will quit cleaning. So in any Bayesian Nash equilibrium in this situation, we are not going to expect both Tim and Sam clean. So what can be the Nash equilibrium? That's going to be the next class in lecture 38. This has been the lecture 37. See you soon. Thank you.